Now, I will interpret the details of Yang style sword. The requirement for Yang style sword is the same as that for Tai Chi Quan. Its basic method is the basic method of Quan, but it is faster. And more agile. Extend and stretch as Chuan. Generally, from routines, there are a lot of figures with visualization, such as birds and beasts and fame of spirit frog. A lot of names with these meanings. Now, I will interpret the sword at first. Now, this is a sword tassel, and this is Jian Dolo, handle of sword, hand guard, sword blade. In general words, standing the edge of sword, there's up blade and down blade. Lying flat, there's outside and inside. Outside blade and inside blade. Sword has two blades. The front is sword tip, such as in preparation. Hold sword in this way. The thumbs press the inside of hand guard. Four fingers and the middle fingers are folded and pressed handle of sword. Ring finger and little finger press another side of hand guard. Thumbs are alone. Forefinger and the middle finger are folded. Ring finger and little finger are bent to inside. This is the figure. This hand, without holding sword, called sword pointing. Also names cha jue shou. Always hold sword in this way. But in practice, in fact, a lot of people hold with whole hand. If hold too tight, you cannot move. I will hold fully. Hold sword. The center of hand is upward commonly. The back of hand is downward. For example, sword stretches out evenly, with the center of hand upward, moving this way. The back of hand, generally, sword tassel. Somebody takes away the sword tassel. Without sword tassel, but it should take sword tassel. But take care while practicing. It will entangle the wrist without attention. So while practicing, such as uppercut with sword, move backward. Let it go first. Move to inside. Now. Let us start to practice. It is the same as that before in routines. I will demonstrate it to you first. Then I will interpret details of movement by movement. Yang Jun will demonstrate part by part.
It is all right to form horse riding step in the preparation. I have said before. Now this habit, standing here while holding salt tassel. The salt tassel is small, so it is not very obvious. Bigger. Practice as habit. Salt tassel puts on little finger. That is preparation. Beginning is different with fist and elbow. Hands are upward. Fist is downward. The elbow cannot up and down straightly with sorting hand, so the elbow tips are backward. As hands close the body, ring to right and left, turn hands over at the same time, meeting front. Then, the same as beginning, fall downward while moving to east. Move to east. We have said before, right foot cannot in south. Should turn to southeast. So at this time, sword rings up, hand rings down, buckle right foot over, bend the back and stand the palm. This is cha jue shou or sword pointing hand. The hand bends in front of chest. After stretching out the left foot, the next movement is like brushing knee to twist step. It is the first brush hand of Sang Huan Tao Yue. Open the left foot with hand movement. Sword is compared to both. Move like that. Then sword pointing moves from front to back. Sword is moved from inside to outside. Stride right foot at the same time. Do the second ring. Do the third ring while stepping to take sword. It is suitable. Arms, left arm bends to inside and right arm bends forward. The side of the palm attaches the handle. Hold it without tight. This is the first movement in three rings, called Jie Zao Shi. The sword should flat and straight. Two fingers should press sword body. After that, the sword need to attach arm evenly. It is all right. Elbow cannot take out like this. Too heavy to take out. It is suitable to bend. Bow step. This is called Jie Jian Shi, namely Sang Huan Tao Yue. After it, left foot buckle to inside. Move center of gravity forward. Lift right foot. Raise heel. Sword sits in right side erectly. The sword pointing will follow to right. Or lead to left. In this principle, pay attention to this. Stand the sword. Next is Kui Xing Shi. Thrust forward. Turn an uppercut with sword. Not in the front, but to the back. Uppercut with sword in this way. Move like this. Raise up. Then, sword moves correctly. Right arm moves as it. After standing, sword just now. Stand right leg. Sword thrust forward. Lift left leg at the same time. It is all right to move here. The arm should be straight. Sword should be even. Left sword pointing, pointing to sword tip. Right foot stands to an angle of 45 degrees. The body is to the same direction of foot. Or place here, it is unsuitable. The body is inclined, not too smooth. It is also 45 degrees. Da Kui the parallel axis is too big. Moving this way looks better. Next, Yan Zi Chao Shui. 
just as its name implies, like a swallow flying over the surface of water. Concretely, cleave first, cleave down, then lift. The left leg strides to upper left, lift oblique angle, move back from down to up. Stretch the foot. Take down and lift up. Left leg strides and turns. The sword is even with foot back. There is a gradient. Put here. Next is a sweep right. Sweep right moves in this way. Want right, but left first. After starting out right foot, turn over sword evenly. Whisk from left to right. Then the upper of the sword, whisk evenly like this. Right foot line, body turns to right. Turn evenly in left side. Move the sword here. Don't turn sword up and down. Turn evenly. Stride left foot. Also the upper of the sword. Whisk horizontally. Xiao Kui Xin. While practicing, sweep. Stretch and cleave first. Then ward up. Rise up the sword point. Draw an arc in front of body. To this direction, stride to right, four to southeast. This direction, this foot is in south. This foot is in southeast. It is emptiness, fullness feet. The left hip and chest are in the plum. Sword tip is downward. Left hand puts between sword and sword handle. Next is Yan Zi Gui Cao. Just as its name implies, swallow enters nest. Swallow entering nest like this. Lift the left foot slightly. Turn to this direction with the waist movement. Right foot points to north. Turn around. Move here. This leg should rise up. Open arms to sides. Lift left leg. Then ten hands. Sit right leg and stretch out left leg. Hands are positive upward. Lin Mao Pu Shu is little cat catches mouse. There are three ways to practice. The first. Cat catches mouse. The action should be delicate. Jump. After thrusting, turn wrist. Move center of gravity forward. Lift right leg. Carry sword. Step and stretch forward. Then move center of gravity forward. Heel touches ground first. Flip up and stretch tight. Open and stretch arms. Step and point downward. Thrust with single hand. Do it again. Open feet through turning wrist. Lift leg to jump with holding sword. One, two, three. Feng Huang Tai Tou. This always thrust the knee. Then press the fore wrist down and raise up the sword point. Point to other throat. This action is very simple. Press the handle down and raise up sword point. Followed by Huang Feng Ru Dong, with a large span, turn to left, right foot backwards to inside until you count ten more. Then turn back, stride left foot, stride from right to left, take back the leg, open arms, turn over hands, 
Step and thrust out. This is called Huang Feng Ru Dong. Do it again. Feng Huang Tai Tou. Huang Feng Ru Dong. Turn body. Repeat. Step. Stride over. Move leg backward. Turn over the hands. Advance and center of hand is downward. Next is Feng Huang Yu Zhang Chi. Move center of gravity backward. Left foot buckles with waist movement, and the arms and elbows close. Buckle over here and sit back. Right leg strides out. Open. This place here, like cliff inclined. From the name Feng Huang Zhang Chi. It is not to understand. Stretch wings. Followed by Xiao Kui Xin. We have done the Xiao Kui Xin before. It is continued by Feng Huang Yu Zhang Chi. Move back center of gravity. Click first and walk backward. Raise elbow. It is all right. Such is the method. The whole movement is led with waist. Faster. Now Yang Jun will demonstrate it for us. Zuo Zhang Chi is followed by Xiao Kui Xin. Zuo Zhang Chi doesn't open and stretch widely as Da Pen Zhang Chi before. Xiao Kui Xin retreat left foot in Zuo Zhang Chi. Left foot points northeast. Left arm brings in down an arc. Squat left leg and place right foot correctly. Arms open to left and right. It is all right. Move in this way. Retreat left leg. The left arm turns around. 
Move back right leg. Open arms. It is all right. 等于是 Move in down arc to 45 degrees. Turn the hand and point sword. While pointing sword, the center of palm is upward. Positive hand. Point. Move in this way. Thrust to middle from both sides. The first, turn over hand and place on right side with sword in hand. Step horizontally, thrusting to middle to form a triangle. The second, take back to right. The left coxer, left foot steps and thrusts to middle from left. It is triangle two. The third, take back. Ring to right side, thrust to middle from right side. One, two, three. Next is Huai Zhong Bao Yue. Retreat left leg and take back right leg. Carry sword on left side. The sword is flat. Left hand supports right hand. Step horizontally and thrust from up to down. Thrust upward. It is all right. Thrust, followed by Wu Long Bai Wei. Fall down left foot. The foot points to east. Arms cross. Cleave from up to down. Do in this way. Direction is southeast. In Oolong Bai Wei, square right leg and four left leg. Left foot points to east. Arms crossing. Open. The foot points to southeast. This is called Oolong Bai Wei. Oolong Bai Wei moves in this way. Qing Long Chu Shui. How to practice? Take back the foot and sword. Stride. The foot points to east. Carry the sword and move flat. Advance and thrust upward. Move in this way. From Wu Long Bai Wei to Qin Long Chu Shui. Take back foot and sword and point to east. Stride and ring horizontally. Ring sword. And thrust out. Lead to thrust upward with waist. It turns to Qin Long Chu Shui, Feng Juan He Ye. Turn from left to right and buckle left foot. Cannot move. Well, the sword moves around above. Strike right foot. Smear horizontally. Moving this way, it is called Feng Juan He Ye. Just as its name implies, lotus leaf is big, and horn is thin. Wind blowing, thin horn will swing. Look from sword tip. Look at this circle. Like a lotus leaf. Smear horizontally. Stride out right foot and smear horizontally. It is all right. Open to right. Turn over the hand. Place left foot correctly. Move to left. Open to left. Turn sword over. Turn to right. Place left foot correctly. Place to right. These are two Shi Zhi Yao Tou. Open to right. Take back the sword and move to left flat. Open to left. Turn over the sword and move to right. Feet move in fours and two. Sword follows with smearing horizontally. Put here. Especially relax left hip in four step. It stops with Shi Zhi Yao Tou. Now, Yang Jun will demonstrate it continuously.
It is Hu Bao Tou after Shi Zhi Yao Tou. While doing Hu Bao Tou, turn to right first with thoughty hand, then turn over the hand, turn from right to left with waist, ring left arm and open left foot, move center of gravity forward, turn over the hand and carry sword from front to back. It is Hu Bao Tou. Then step and jump. One, two, three. It is the second jumping in Taiji sword, Lin Mao Pu Shu. It is agile, like a cat catching mouse. Jump, like that, the Ye Ma Tiao Jian expresses straightforwardness and toughness. So the step is large. Step widely after Hu Bao Tou. Reach the distance while stepping. One, two, thrust with both hands. Advance, thrust. Lin Mao Pu Shu is thrusting with one arm. Step is small. Expressing this meaning. Next is Le Ma Shi. Le Ma Shi means dragging the horse back. If the horse is out of control while dragged back, drag the horse back. Moving this way. Move foot backward. It is finished. Then step. It is Zhi Nan Zhen. Look. Ye Ma Tiao Jian. After it is Le Ma Shi. Drag horse head backward. Drag back. Followed by stepping and thrusting. It is Zhi Nan Zhen. Feet should be in the horse riding step. Thrust with arms, hold sword with arms like that. It is Zhi Nan Zhen. Next is Yin Feng Dan Chen. Just as its name implies, Yin Feng Dan Chen. In the past, we can see from the ancient stage what the eunuch took is a pole with horse tail. That is called Fu Chen. While moving, lay the sword in right side. Step left foot to left side. Wrist can whisk out in this way. Take back as soon as going out. Express the meaning of whisking. Whisk out. Take back and sit it. After it, then again on left. Stride right foot and whisk from left to right. Also take back as soon as whisking out. The third, sit sword on right side and stride left foot. Whisk and take back. All the three. First, is sitting sword on right side and whisking to left. Second, is sitting sword on left side and whisking to right. The third is sitting sword on right side and whisking to left. Moving this way, they are Yin Feng Dan Chen. Practice for three times. After Yin Feng Dan Chen is Shen Shui Tui Zhou. Do like this. Move center of gravity backward. Left foot buckles to inside, then retreat left leg. Turn an uppercut with sword, four sword tip, push sword forward. It is Shun Shui Tui Zhou. With the method, after Yin Feng Dan Chen, buckle left foot and retreat right leg. Turn an uppercut with sword, fold down the sword tip and push sword body forward. Left hand places inside of right elbow. It is all right. It is forward. Next is Liu Xing Gan Yue. Liu Xing Gan Yue is not in this direction. It is on the cross. Point to northwest. Move in this way. Move center of gravity backward. Left foot buckles with waist movement. Move center of gravity over here. Arms crossing. Open. Cleave down over here. It is cleaving sword. Arms crossing. Open. Next is Tian Ma Fei Pu. Moving this way. Based on this, but the direction is not in this angle. Turn to south. Move center gravity to right. Open left foot. Step and cleave. Point down. Step and cleave. Point down. Cleave. Point.
，也就是天马飞瀑。Someone called it "Tian Ma Fei Bo" in the past, meaning that moving this way, cleave. It is all right. Okay, it is over for this part. Now Yang Jun will demonstrate it for us. Now introduce these postures. Tiao Lian Shi seems familiar with Kui Xin Shi, but it is different. That it moves in this way, while continuing moving in up arc, cleave downward, then tease, cleave from here, lift. And the movement is not the same. Kuishin Shi begins from here, uppercut of the sword, thrust upward. The position of hand is over here. The finger is over here. Left and right wheel. While doing Tiao Lian Shi, the sword is horizontal. The arm unbends. The hand pulls here. It is different in tradition. We, as we have said before, wheel, squat right leg and stride left foot, lift step and open, move center gravity forward, arms crossing on left side, turn hands over, step and cleave. It is left, mat step and right, stand sword and right side, retreat step, upper cut with sword, step, cleave, cleave over here, on arc on left, on arc on right, cleave down over here. Lift the sword. This is called Yan Zhi Xian Ni. Little swallow holds mud in the mouth. Lift over here. Mid arms after that. Next is Da Pen Zhang Shi. Straight to right. Open. The Da Pen Zhang Shi is similar with Feng Huan Yu Zhang Shi. But it is called Da Pen Zhang Shi here, and the direction is different with that. It is Feng Huan Zhang Shi. Point to the front. Next is Hai Di Lao Yue. Express the meaning of dragging. Moving this way. Move center of gravity forward. Open left foot. Stride from right to left like this. Drag. Express the meaning of it. It is Hai Di Lao Yue.
Move center of gravity forward, then move left foot. Drag floor from right to left, followed by removing step and taking back sword. Drag for over here. Like dragging for something. It is empty for drag for moon. But you should express this meaning. Carry sword with left hand, the sword should be flat. Left hand puts on right arm. Elbow is in a circle. Next is Tanghai. It is stepping horizontally too. Left hand draws an arc from down to up. Lift. Thrust downward in this way. The arm moves in a circle, forming an arc. Sword thrust downward. Next, we introduce Xi Niu Wang Yue, also called Hui Tou Wang Yue. The hand turns over the arm, rings an arc from up to down, moving this way. Stride left foot, take sword back, looking back. Don't look forward. Look back. It is Xi Niu Wang Yue, also called Hui Tou Wang Yue. She Yan Shi. Just as its name implies, arrow is putting on bow. It is She Yan Shi. Next is Qing Long Xian Zhua. Squat right foot, lift left leg, stride forward, thrust while striding. Form horse riding step. It is Qin Long Xian Zhua. Next is Shuang Zhang Chi. Move center of gravity to right, left foot buckles to inside, fold down sword, mid arms, step, open. Now pay attention to this. The hand bends to inside in Da Pen Zan Chi and Feng Huang Yu Zan Chi. Arms are opening. The difference is it is Kua Lan after it. Move center of gravity to right. Left foot strides to left. Sword moves from down to up. Place up. Move sword in the center. Other sword is coming. I place it up. So it must be higher than your own head. Left Kua Lan on right side. Step right foot. Right leg turn to bow step. Do Kualan on right side. Sword should be flat. It is standing blade. Move like this. Next is She Yan Shi. She Yan Shi. Open right foot. Move center of gravity to right. Lift leg and stride. Put here to form She Yan Shi. It is over for this part. Now Yang Jun will demonstrate it for you.
Now, I will interpret movement by movement. It is from She Yuan Shi to Bai Yuan Xian Guo. Stride left foot, stretch out right arm, step right foot, close. In this way. The meaning of offering peach, close in this way. Stretch forward. While doing Luo Hua Shi, it is the method continue to do. Turn as moving from left to right. Open to right, then turn to left, left, right, left, right, left, right. Do five times. Finish it. Move center of gravity and right leg. Next is Yun Yu Chuan Shuo. Turn to south. Left foot points to south. Right foot buckles to inside. Thrust downward. After Yun Yu Chuan Shuo, it is Bai Hu Jiao Wei. Based on Bai Hu Jiao Wei, move center of gravity backward. Left foot buckles to inside. Stand sword on left side. Stride right foot. Uppercut with sword in front of body. Uppercut. Turn head. Stretch sword pointing. It should be in harmony. Like this, it is Yun Yu Chuan Shuo. Bai Hu Jiao Wei, buckles forward and stand sword on left. Step, uppercut with sword in front. Turn head, move sword pointing. Put here, open left foot. Because you will move forward, must open the left foot. Open left foot, lift right leg, carry sword. It is Hu Bao Tou. Next is Yu Tao Long Men. While jumping and carrying sword, step is not too large, but can jump higher. After jumping, the sword thrusts downward from up. After these are Zuo Yu Wu Long Jiao Zhu. The left moves an arc up first. Move around. Open right foot. Ring from up to down on right side. Then open left foot. Hand sword. Step. Thrust straight. It is Xian Ren Zhi Lu. After that, turn to south. Move center of gravity. Stride left foot, stand sword here. Squared with holding sword in hand. It is called Chao Tian Yi Zhu Xiang. Move center of gravity to right. Stride left foot, squared with holding sword in hand. Move correctly. In Feng Shao Mei Hua Luo Jian, fold down the sword and put horizontally. Draw an arc while moving center of gravity backward. Move with it. Move center of gravity over here. Take sword back. Step right foot, stride out. Move back like this. The arc is long. Four sword down to move in an arc first. Step to move the second time. Stride to this position. Then turn over the hand. Retreat left leg and take right leg back. Lift right leg and step. Thrust forward. It is Ya Hu Shi. The last one. Carry saw to be a circle. Now it is over here. Just now, we have talked about the last jump in the part of their characters. Another would be paid attention to. Sword, don't throw it too much. No matter in which jumping, carrying sword, step and jump, just like the wave follows the wave. Thrust. 
Can't flirt too much with holding sword in hand. Cannot flirt like this. It should be coherent. If not, it will be wrong. Unsteady. Don't do that. It is over for Taiji sort of movements. After doing it, among the whole process, the requirement is the same as Chuan. Practice placidly. Although there are some movements, such as Ye Ma Tiao Jian, the movement requires straightforwardness and toughness and steady. Steady and straightforward. It means movement steadily with straightforward. The manner is for the whole movement. The movement would be extending in large scope and very agile. In practice, be careful of every aspect. Now it is over for Taiji sword. Yang Jun will demonstrate it for you. Please take a look.
Now let me introduce Yang Style Taiji Broadsword. Taiji Broadsword is a short hilt weapon. So is Taiji Sword. In theory, they are all directed by the Taiji theory. And practice under it. But Taiji Broadsword has an advantage. It hasn't got a name as Chuan and Sword. It has a name. But with pithy formula, it has 13 pithy formulas. With this form, generally speaking, the reason for it is quick. Because broadsword is different from sword. The sword is with two edges, but broadsword is one edge, and the other side is back. Other parts are similar with sword. The guard of broadsword is different too. It's another obvious difference. For broadsword banner, it is Dao Yi. Usually, it is made with red silk. While Dao Yi for broadsword, sword tassel for sword. So, in practicing, many movement of broadsword is similar with that of Chuan. They are easy for practicing and not too many posters. We can separate the 13 pithy formulas to several parts. To do, now I demonstrate several postures. In practicing, there are some postures in broadsword, similar with that of boxing. They are easy, without too many postures. I separate the 13 PC formulas to several parts. To do, I practice some firstly. Later, I will explain. Grasp the broadsword. Grasp fully. Stand here with the back of the broadsword towards inside, the edge towards outside. Grasp the hilt fully. Draw down the right arm naturally. The first PC formula is strangling tiger to form seven stars and passing broadsword. It is almost the same with the San Huan Tao Yue in sword. The taking over sword posture of San Huan Tao Yue. This is strengthening the tiger to form seven stars and passing broadsword. The second is jumping, moving, ducking, and extending as well as refreshing. The third is looking to right and left sides and separate the hands. The fourth is white crane spreading its wings and the wuxiang palm. And hide under the water lily leaves which roll by wind blowing.
We have introduced these postures just now. In practice, for the first posture of straddling the tiger to form seven stars and passing broadsword, review Tai Chi Chuan, advance of seven stars and step backward to straddle the tiger. So, if you have grasped that of boxing, you can grasp the movement of straddling the tiger to form seven stars and passing broadsword. In this way, do it again. Move to the direction first. Posture eight-shaped foot of right foot. Move center of gravity to left. Toe in step. The right foot inside. Raise hand. Advance of seven stars. So, you want to straddle the tiger. First is to diaper. It is the same with that of boxing, which advances seven stars. Step backward, straddle the tiger. Pass broadsword. As soon as turn around, pa, deliver the broadsword. This is straddling the tiger to form seven stars and passing sword like that. If know how to advance of seven stars and step backward, straddle the tiger, turn around, pass the broadsword, finish. It is easy to do. Move center of gravity to left. The right foot turns inside. Raise fist. Advance of seven stars. Straddle the tiger. Pass broadsword. Look forward. With the broadsword, turn around. Deliver. Catch. Next, jumping, moving, ducking, and extending, as well as refreshing. Also to the front. Jump. Move. Separate the hands. Duck. Extend. Catch. Extend. Finish. Refresh. Push forward with holding the back of broadsword. Push again. It is refreshing. Do it again. In practice, the direction of it is to that. After stretch and pass the broadsword, at the same time of passing broadsword, must look forward. Jump, advance and push. Move, separate the feet to sides. Duck, catch, extend, move up, turn the broadsword, advance, prick, finish here. One refreshing in the side, right side. Move down from the head. The hand holds up the broadsword. Advance. Push the broadsword. Turn back the leg and advance. Push out the broadsword. It is refreshing. Do it again. Jump. Move. Duck. Extend. Refresh. Look to left side. Move to south. Turn the left foot inside. Lay horse riding step. Look to right side. Separate the arms. Crane spreading wings. Open the right foot. Tease up the broadsword. Wu Xing palm. Open the foot. Advance. Separate. It is similar with the Shan Tong Bi. This is looking onto right and left sides and separating the hands in this way. It is easy. Look at this. Grasp the broadsword, push out. Look to left side. Turn the left foot inside. Lay horse riding step. Look to right side. Separate the hands. Act toward arc from upper. Move horizontally in this way. Upper cut with broadsword. Move from upper to bottom. Next. Look to right and left sides and separate the hands. What we have done just now. The posture finish here.
Next is crane spreading wings and washing palm. The movement of the arm is move the broadsword from upper to bottom. Washing palm at upper. Grasp the broadsword. It is similar with flashing the arm, but bigger. This is crane spreading wings and washing palm. In practicing, moving center, the left elbow is straight, and the right is curving. Next, hide under the water lily leaves, which roll by wind blowing. In practicing, from the east, turn the foot and stretch this foot. Push broadsword to this direction. Prick, finish. In practicing, pay attention to that. Turn the foot back, let it down. After drawing down, the broadsword edge is downward. Prick out. This is hiding under the water lily leaves, which roll by wind blowing. These postures above, we said that there are thirteen postures. Contains straddle the tiger to form seven stars and pass broadsword, jumping, moving, ducking, and extending as well as refreshing. Look to right and left sides and separate hands. Crane spreading wings and whooshing palm. Hide under the water lily leaves which roll by wind blowing. Total of thirteen. We have finished five. Practicing these methods. It seems that if you know the Chuan, can grasp movement of broadsword in a short time only by watching. Now Yang Jun will demonstrate it for you to press in your mind. Now let's go on. Next is Yun Yu Chuan Shuo, eight directions posture. In practice of Chuan above, Yun Yu Chuan Shuo to the four oblique angle. So the Yun Yu Chuan Shuo eight directions posture is similar with it almost. After that, Sun Xin Kai He Zi Zhu Zhang. Raise leg and hit tiger again. Next, Pi Shen Xian Gua Yin Yang Jiao. I will do these postures first to you. Now let's go on. Next, after hiding under the water lily leaves, which roll by wind blowing. Yun Yu Chuan Shu Eight Directions Posture. It is similar with Yun Yu Chuan Shu of Tai Chi Chuan. After that, Shan Xin Kai He Zi Zhu Zhang. Next, raise leg and hit tiger again. And Pi Shen Xian Kua Yuan Yang Zhao. I will demonstrate to you first.
Such are they, I explain separately, in practicing, follow it. The direction of it is a bleak left, so the broad sword will move up round the head, with the point towards bottom, and the edge towards body, stride and hack. In this way, then raise leg and stretch, push the broadsword. This is the first. Second, move center of gravity back. Toe in the left foot back. Turn to this direction. Carry the broadsword. Take back the foot. Draw back the broadsword. Move broadsword horizontally. Move to this direction. Click to this direction. Toe in back the foot, stride back, move to this direction. This is the third. The last also moves to this direction. Toe in in this point. This is Yin Yu Chuan Shu eight directions posture. We have moved to four oblique angles in this way. There is an additional movement from the beginning. Hack around head, push out, buckle the foot, turn around, carry the broadsword, move around, prick out, buckle the foot, move to this direction, push out, finish here. This is Yu Yu Chuan Shu eight directions posture to the four directions and the footwork are the same with those of Yu Yu Chuan Shu. The hand was broad sword. Move with waist movement. If sword, such as dragon, flies out of water, move with waist movement. Then prick, push. One pushing. The forearm pushes the back of broadsword. The broadsword pushes out with the help of forearm. Push out. Move round the head. Generally, move in this way and prick, and prick down. This is Yu Yu Chuan Shu eight directions posture. San Xin Kai He Zi Zhu Zhang follows it. Move center of gravity to right. Stretch out the left foot to northeast. Then hilt put the front of the body. Stretch out, and broadsword is flat. Prick out. Jump. Change legs and carry broadsword. Move in this way, like that. Yu Yu Chuan Shu eight directions posture. Sit right leg. After stretching the left leg, prick the broadsword forward. Move the broadsword around like that, in this way. Of this method, change feet and jump. After that, prick out. This leg retreat. With jump to change. After that, it's raising leg and hitting tiger again. Carrying broadsword. Stretch the left foot. Deliver the broadsword. Raise foot again. Pat, pat the foot. Raise leg. Pat. Fall down the foot. Then it's the same with hitting the tiger posture in Tai Chi Chuan. It's here hitting the tiger posture. This is hitting tiger posture in Chuan. Turn around. Stretch out the foot. Here is hitting tiger posture. It is the same with that of Chuan.
Just now we have done. Free slag and hit tiger again. If you have known that left and right hitting tiger in Taiji Chuan, then you will know this posture. But there is not padding food in movement routine. So this increased padding food just pat the back of the food. The direction of it is in the east. Left and right hit tiger is the same with those of Chuan. So we won't do it again. Next, P Shen Xian Kua Yuan Ya Jiao. In practicing, moving this way. After right hit tiger, open the left foot with waist movement. Walk back the left arm. Move back the right. Stand up. Pat the foot. It is all right. Pat. Only lightly, without noise. It is Yuan Ya Jiao. It bases on hitting tiger posture. Open the left foot, pat lightly. It's all right. After that, it is broadsword. What we do just now are Yun Yu Chuan Shu eight directions posture. Raise leg and hit tiger again. These are another four pithy formulas. Total 13. We have finished nine. The last part, we can finish soon. The movement routine finishes by then, very quickly. Yang Jun will do it for you. All right, let us go on. Above, we have just done Pi Shen Xian Kua Yuan Ya Jiao. Next, push shape with flow and make the whip as barge pole. Put down together three times and free posture. Separate the water and jump over dragon door. Bian He carry stone and phoenix come back to nest. The movement routine is over here. These postures, now I go on to do. First, pushing shape with flow and making the whip as barge pull. These are the last postures, explained separately. Next is push shape with flow and make the whip as barge pull. Move like that. After Yuan Ya Jiao, take the broadsword in moving, stretch food. The right foot turns out with the back of broadsword towards outside, moving this way, stride. After that, move the broadsword around, then stretch out. Take the broadsword. It is making the whip as barge pole.
push the ship with flow and make the wave as barge pole, moving this way. Based on it, remove the foot. Turn the foot with the back of broadsword turn bottom. Turn. Then move the broadsword round. After that, it is putting down together three times and free posture. Draw back the broadsword, take back the right foot with the broadsword forward. Here, stretch out the right foot. Posture is A shaped foot. Move horizontally, then stretch left foot. Open is A shaped foot. Stretch foot again. Advance. These are putting down together three times in free posture. This is down posture. Put together. Free posture. Moving this way. Down posture. Put together. Free posture. Next. To left. Open the right foot. Is to right. Separate the water. Jump over dragon door. Step backward and carry broadsword. Points to oblique angle. Now let me do it again. To left. Open the right foot. To right. Separate water. Jump over dragon door. Step back. Jumping step. Carry broadsword. Here another moving around and advancing and pricking. It is separating the water and jumping over dragon door. Next, the last posture. Ah, uh, Bian He carrying stone and a phoenix coming back to nest. Take the broadsword. Carry the broadsword. After jumping over dragon door, turning head. Chop with broadsword. Toe in step the left foot inside. The right hand passes the broadsword to left. Carry fist. Toe out step the left foot here. It's Bian He carrying stone. Toe in step the right foot. It is Phoenix coming back to nest. Finish here. Now I do this posture again. To left. To the right. Separate water. Jump over dragon door. Prick. Toe in the left foot inside. The right hand passes broadsword to left. Carry fist. Lay down left foot in center. Here. Bian He. Move around. Prick. Toe in the left foot inside. The right hand passes broadsword to left. Open the right foot and carry fist. Erect the body. Stretch out fist. It is similar with the beginning. Stretch out the tiger to form seven stars and pass the broadsword. After stretching out, lay the left foot, toe in inside. Here, lay as horse riding step. Stand up, then finish. The posture of Taiji broadsword are not too many. Total of it, according to the PC formula form, is 13. We have just finished the last part, which contains put down together three times and free posture. Separate the water and jump over dragon door. Bian He carry stone and phonics come back to nest. Now, Yang Jun will demonstrate all these postures. The broadsword is full of momentum. It will be expressed, such as advancing, it is imposing, we express the meaning of it, and the broadsword looks good, and the movement is comfortable. Make full use of waist to lead the body, especially the hand holding broadsword. So does in practice of sword, come shake in the front, must be in control by waist, move with the whole broadsword. Pay attention to this in practice. Now Yang Jun demonstrate the last posture of broadsword. 